All right. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another freaking stream. This is us playing. Well, I mean, it's a black screen. I know, but you you know, you watch plenty of my streams. I'm not I don't have the game pulled up yet because they like to I like to have the focus on me. No, I don't. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Look here, there was an update to prison simulator, like a little hot fix kind of thing over the weekend. And, um, well, <clears throat> it added, it, it added something. It added, like, free skins to the game. You can have different types of skins for your prisoners. You can have the orange jumpsuits, of, of course. Just give it a sec. It's coming up. Um, anytime, please, for the love of God, come up. Thank you. Thank you. Almost. Thank you. Um, so you can have different skins for your, uh, prisoners now. You can have orange jumpsuits. You have, like, the old-school black-and-white jailbird skin outfits. You can have, like, the Longest Yard movie. You know, the movie Longest Yard. Uh, like, the jean jacket outfits. And you can have Squid Game outfits for your prisoners. Isn't that crazy? That's freaking crazy. Hello, everybody. Hello, Christian. Hello, Queen. Hello, UV. Hello, Officer Steam. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's uh, currently... What is it? it? It's currently raining. It's currently dark. Love it. Here in California, it never rains. So when it does rain, <laughs> I love it. I don't do good in the heat. I don't like the heat. I prefer it to be rainy. I prefer it to be cloudy. That's today. So I'm doing pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and continue with our um, craziness that we had here. Right now, we're waiting for someone to go on trial and to see. There was a murder, right, in one of the cells. So, um, yeah. Yeah. One of the murders, go to murder, go to trial. The trial is happening. We got to see what happens with the trial. <laughs> and that's it. 
You've been to San Diego? I've been to San Diego a couple times. It's a good place. It's a great place. I like San Diego. It's snowing there where you're at, UV. My God. Um, it snows here sometimes during the winter time, but the snow, I like the snow. I like going to the snow. I don't like the snow at my house, though. <laughs> I'd rather go somewhere with the snow, uh, not have snow at my house. Anyways, here we are. We're back. We have the transportation here. Or <laughs> I read chat and I saw transportation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I read chat and saw transportation. It was stuck in my head. But yeah, San Diego has great transportation. Over overall, yes, I would have to agree. Prison guard respect is very high. The prisoner respect is not so high. We have $128, $573 for the prison. So here we go. Uh, go to the search room. So it's, you know, just like a regular day. Wait for the court's decision. That's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the trial. You guys to see what the court decides to do with what we uh, have given them as far as evidence-wise. So let's go into the search room. We are here. Come to the desk to start your routine. What is it? One person coming in? We're, we're, we have one intake. Calling in the noob. Come on, noob. Bring it in. Calling in alone. What the heck did this guy just say to me? Hey, you Trevor Pretzel? Be careful with what you say. Okay, check him. Trevor Pretzel? Trevor Pretzel? Oh, I see. Check. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Can't compare. Wait, what? Oh, can't compare. That's why. Uh, block B. Check it. This was actually one of the skills that we got um, in the last stream. Breaking into the museum. I can't really compare that to anything. Fingerprints. Compared. Can't compare the fingerprints to anything. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Russian weather be like yesterday was 12 plus Celsius and today is negative 4. Feels like negative 7. I don't know how you guys do it with that, like, negative stuff. How the heck do you guys do that? I couldn't do that. I tell you what, I could not do that. Prove it. Everything seemed to be okay there. Hello, Leslie. How are you? <clears throat> so, don't talk to me. Stop with your mouth. Okay, mm, risotto, 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 check it, anything, nope, just a regular old risotto, I gotta like remember the keys again, good lord, playing all different kinds of games, man, my, my fingers just have no idea which way to go, sometimes, uh, this is dude men's care, this is supposed to be dove men's care, there you go, alright, put it together man, I gotta search you, let me, oh, Bella, you son of a gun, there you go, get, go, get out of here, Get, go. Leave. Leave. <clears throat> First stream for you, so doing great. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad that you could stop in. I, Bella is excited. She's very excited that you, you made it. <laughs> She's like, damn it. So good. She's so good, but yet so damn loud. Isn't she? Isn't she? Is it? Yeah. She's a... You know what? One thing... She's going to interrupt me, isn't she? One thing I want to do is actually go over here, and I want to do this quest where it makes you faster. I like that. Bella, sweetheart, come here. Let me talk to you. Let me let me, let me me speak to your ear. Let me let me whisper you sweet nothings. It's okay. I promise you. Whatever's out there, whether it's a bird, a squirrel, possibly a human being, I, I don't think they're going to do anything to you. Hello there. All right. I would like to do this quest, please. You're here to work on your speed skills? Yes, give me something. Sure, speedy boy, take this. Go, go, go. Okay, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? That way. Go, go. 60, 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Oh, this was the easiest one of all time. Oh, wait, there's two. Uh-oh. Uh, here, package. Take my package, dude. Okay, there you go. Now we gotta go all the way to 40 meters. Oh, my God. Let me out. Let me out. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. How's our stamina? We're out of stamina. We're out of stamina. We're out of stamina. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go 30 meters. <laughs> we got this. We got this. No big deal. We got this. Yeah, this is super easy. Super easy. What's up? We have this. There you go. I have a package for you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Jason. What kind of dog is Bella? She's a dachshund. So she's a spicy little weenie. 
Do you recommend playing this? I'm I'm enjoying it. If that's what you're asking, like, would I recommend this game? So far, I, I want to see more. That's what I would like to see. I would like to see more before I would recommend it. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Watch your The Good Life series onto your Moonglow one now. Moonglow Bay is coming. If you like Good Life, I'm sure you'll like Moonglow. Moonglow is uh, pretty fun. I actually need to continue uh, The Good Life. So we're going to be continuing The Good Life here very shortly. Because we're almost done with that game. I just had to step away from it because there have been so many different games coming out now but yeah if you like the good life you probably will like um you probably will like watching the moon glow i really love in the moon glow I, I tell you what that's a fun game that's a real fun game the story oh so good so good <clears throat> great dogs they are they're they're fantastic dogs i tell you what dude my family has dachshunds like I have a dachshund. My mom has a couple of dachshunds. They're good dogs. They're incredible. <clears throat> One of my favorite breed of dogs. They're ornery as hell. <laughs> but they're loyal as hell. And man, do they have a personality. That's the best thing I love about it. Especially like Bella. Like she has just a crazy personality that I just absolutely adore. <clears throat> Moon Glow is a great is great to watch. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That doesn't that, you know what? I'll I'll say it. This is a guilty, guilty thing for me to say. I had to step away from the babies. Hmm? I had to step away from the good life babies. My god, every time I hit the freaking sprint on the goat or the sheep, not the goat. The sheep. Oh god damn it, dude. Did I put that in the right one? Recyclables, yeah. I had to, uh, I had to step away from Oh Baby just for a sec. Oh, baby. <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot to take in. So the canteen has been uh, cleaned up. This is not the right way. Which way is this over here? Is this this way? Cell block. I'm, I'm just cleaning the prison right now. This is my job, apparently. It's like, I'm just cleaning today. Doesn't seem too bad. And then we're waiting, of course, on the court's decision on the uh, imperfect murder. Nope, that's the briefing room. We don't want to go in there. This is the locker room. Ah, okay. I see, I see, I see. Um, give me the mop. Thank you. <clears throat> dogs are good. They're evil. Dogs aren't? Or cats are... Dogs are good. Can what? <laughs> what? Dogs are good. Cats are good. I used to own... Uh, cats as well. I can't own cats now uh, because I have guinea pigs. So like, if I have a cat, the cat might want to yeet the guinea pig, and that just doesn't happen in this house. There's no yeeting in this house. <laughs> I won't. I won't allow the cat to become apex predator. So that's the reason why we can't have a cat. It's because we have guinea pigs. Quite a few, actually. About four of them to be exact. Those things are needy. You ever you ever had a guinea pig in your life? My lord, dude. You you think? Oh, look, look, guinea pigs got guinea pigs, thinking oh you know they'll be easy to take care of. No, they are not easy to take care of, and they are absolutely expensive to have. Oh come on. They eat. Oh dude, we grocery shop for them every freaking week, dude. They have to have their lettuce. They have to have their veggies. They have to have their hay. They have to have their kibble. Ridiculous. It never ends, dude. Why is there blood everywhere? Stop it. Enough with the menstrual cycles, gentlemen. Stop it. Jesus Christ. Cats are not evil. They're stubborn, but not evil. <laughs> some cat, like, I've had good cats, and I've had, like, some cats that were very, very, um, like, you couldn't touch them. Like, if you touched them, they would fight you. Like, throw down. But, that's very rare, even in that sense. But that, that, that goes same with dogs. Like, even dogs. You can find dogs that will, like, most of the dogs will come up and, and like, dogs love people, for the most part. But then there's some dogs, you know, um, that, that will bark at you, that will bite the hell out of you. That goes with humans. There's some humans out there, right? There's some humans out there that will, you know, nice to meet you. It's good to meet you. And then there's some humans that will just absolutely murder your face. 
There's good and there's bad. <laughs> For every freaking thing. Um, let me just clean this while you take a piss. Excuse me. Yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> bad sink. Have you ever had a poodle? Such great dogs and super, super smart. I've never had a poodle. Actually, I think I had a relative that had a poodle once upon a time. Um, maybe not a full-bred poodle. It might have been a mixed poodle, though. But no, I, I've never had a poodle. Never had a poodle. They seem like um, they seem like dogs that would be hard to upkeep their their coats, their furs, and stuff like that. Right? I could be wrong though. I want to pick this up. Get some trash. Get some money. Money, 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 money. Bam! Look at that. My thought too. <laughs> All of you all can. <laughs> Claws, teeth, and back feet. Cats hurt if they don't want your affection. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They got some. I I used to have like I said, man. I, I not me personally. My grandmother, she like rescued a cat. Like not well, yeah, yeah, rescued a cat. She, there there was a cat that was abandoned in a warehouse. She found it, so she kept it. Do that cat. That cat had a mission on its, of its own, its entire lifetime. It did what it want, it ate where it want, it walked wherever it want, it was an indoor, outdoor slash cat. It would leave for days, come back, and hang out around the house, but you tried to approach that cat, you tried to pet that cat, that cat would whoop your ass. <laughs> and I've gotten multiple times where I got my ass whooped. Now. Again, dogs are kind of the same way. So, my mother, back in the 90s, she birthed this forehead. Right? Good job. Um, <laughs> but when she birthed this forehead, she had a baby before me. Not a human baby. I was her first child. But she had a different kind of baby before me. She had a dachshund. Right? She, had a, she, had, she actually had a dachshund back in the early 90s. And, well, um, that dachshund became very, like, it became her baby before I was her baby, right? So when I came into the world, that dachshund, his name was George. He was a copper, short-haired dachshund, beautiful dog. His name was George, not to be confused with George of the Jungle. But once I was there and I became who I was and I was the baby of the house now, that dog was very upset. He was very, very upset. So when the dog was very upset, what did he do? He did not like the new kid. He did not like the child. So he bit me. I got I got I got scars underneath my eyes because of that dog biting me. Happened one time. I got bit one time. And so once the dog bit me once, the dog got to go. The dog got to go. So I have like I have a scar underneath my eye. And then I have a scar underneath my other eye. And then I have a scar under my chin for that different reasons. But yeah, once that happened, the dog got to go. I, you know, so that's unfortunate, but it, <laughs> it is what it is. But any, anybody slash any pet can be evil. Just depends on how they're raised or if they're strays or stuff, stuff like that. Like, I mean, sometimes you can't really blame the animal because especially if they were abandoned or abused, you know, it's like. You know, you kind of feel bad, right? And you want to do everything you can for the animal, but their instincts are like humans are evil, right? You know, so that's clean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now the next one, please. So if we clean this gun, we can actually get to use this gun. The only problem is, is that this was like not working correctly last time. So, and it seems like it's still not working correctly. I was hoping the hotfix, the new uh, patch update, would have uh, fixed this, maybe? Oh, there we go. There's little tiny specks. I see. You got to go for the little tiny specks. Maybe it was already fixed. It was it was, it was. was right the whole time. <laughs> you should have a dog review? What are you talking about? I should have a dog review. If you've ever watched any of my Let's Play series, you can basically see, or my live streams, 
the dogs make an appearance quite often, actually. <laughs> whether it be Let's Plays, whether it be live streams. There's been multiple times they've been on camera. They were on camera last stream. Yeah. Yeah, they were on... Both dogs were on camera last stream. Towards the end of it. At the end of the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poodles do do mat because of the of the furs. As long as as long as you brush them all, you'll be fine. <clears throat> One thing I really like about the poodles is their fur, though. They're even like you said, like they look like the fur would be. It would take it would take some time, right, to actually. What is it like to not to bait like, you know, take care of their furs? It, it looks like it would take a lot of time, but their fur is like. I, I, it's almost like borderline unique in a way. Like, you don't see a lot of their fur. Well, the texture, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I know it's like hard for me to spit it out, but like the texture of the fur on poodles, I like that a lot. It's nice and soft. Okay, can I like? Now what? We put it together. Oh, baby, we put it together. There we go. Bam. There we go. This gun has been assembled. Therefore, we can use it. Yeah, we can now use it. Good job. <laughs> we did it, dude. <clears throat> Ouch, indeed. Ouch, indeed. Yeah, so let's go to the prison yard. I guess go to the prison yard. We got to, you know, the prison yard. I like the prison yard. The prison yard, this is where people get out their frustration. They can fight each other. I let it happen. No problem. You guys want to fight? Go ahead and do it. I'm really thinking about switching the prisoner's skin, skin to the squid game skins i think that would be funny kind of a little bit possibly who knows i don't like the orange jumpsuits it, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel real real like i've been to jail and not to prison to j no, I, look time out i've never been to jail i've been to jail i've never been in jail well i've been in jail but i've never been i never i was not a criminal i was there for other reasons for job opportunities i wasn't there for dude get away from me i wasn't there for criminal you want to do this let's do this <laughs> i was not there for criminal uh misconduct I promise don't even at me dude just just leave don't ever come at me again anyways yeah i was there for job opportunities but anyways they never wore, like, or orange jumpsuits or anything like this. Um, they never had this kind of stuff. The only thing, the only colors they had, I think, was, like, green, like a dark green, possibly. I can't remember. Was it a dark green? I think it was a dark green, yeah. A dark green. But even if you watch a dark... Don't! No, I'm trying to do a fire! Stop it! No! Hey! No! No, no, no! Absolutely not! Dude, this is not the time to fist me. Get away. Get a actual away. Okay, let's do it. Like, if they attack me, that's their fault. If they attack each other, they can do that. That's fine. I'll let that one pass. But, my God. Anyways, yeah, so... I think, like, the California prison attire is, like, tan. Like, the tan kind of color. Not, not orange. At least, I don't know. I could be wrong. Like I said, never been to prison. Never visited a prison. But yeah. <laughs> They're hyper... Hypo... Alert... Hypo alert... Hypo allergenic dogs. There we go. There we go. Woo! That was a lot for me to say there. Anyways, we'll let them sit here. Um, it, it does... Like... People get upset... W or like the prisoners get upset when you beat the hell out of them. Look, it's their fault. They at me. They came to me, dude. So, um... <clears throat> that's fine. That's their fault. I worked at a prison, and the inmates wore blue jeans and light blue shirts. See, that's another skin that they actually brought in. They brought in the jeans and the and the shirts. Kind of like a more realistic. That that sounds like more of a realistic California prison thing as well, too, is the, is the blue jeans and the light blue shirts. <laughs> this is not the first this is this, <laughs> this is not the time for to fist me <laughs> for 2021 <laughs> oh 
Lord, forgive me for my sins. Please. I did not mean for the man to fist me, nor did I want him to fist me. It was made of out of context. I'm sorry. Amen. Well, all right. There we go. Everyone's done with the prison yard. Fantastic. Now, I do want to go to the shooting range. I do want to go to the shooting range. And at the shooting range, I'm going to use that new gun we cleaned off. See ya, officer Steam. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the shooting range, and we're going to do that. I'm going to do that, do that, do that. I'm going to use that. And if there's any other guns that I can repair, which I don't know if, if it reset or anything like that. Let's see. Oh, there is. Oh, nice. There's like a carbine now. All right. Cool, cool, cool. But I want to I want to try this first. Let's go this one. Yeah, yeah. This one stand one. Not this. This gun, please. This gun? No. No, no, no. Not no. This this gun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. SMG. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look at this thing. This thing's wild. It's got a big kickback, though. Now, again, not in, at least in jail, they would never allow guns like this. Now, in a prison, for like a cert team or extraction team, they have, they have different kind. They don't, I mean, they have, they don't have like, what's the word to say? Lethality? Lethality of guns? Lethal guns? They have more of this, right? So in jail, you can't bring a gun into, into well, at least jail, not prison. It was so funny. Like there was somebody, I forgot who I watched, but like there's this kid who like tried to be this hardest, the hardest person of all time. And somebody asked him, somebody says, hey, have you ever been to prison? And he says, or no, someone, no, <laughs> someone asked him, someone asked him, have you ever been to jail? And he says, no, I've, I've been worse. I've been to, I've been to prison. I've never been to jail, but I've been to prison. I'm like, you have to go to jail before you go to prison. You can't just skip jail before you go to prison. Anyways. All right. Roll call. Let's go. Are they speaking a language or is it like The Sims? It's like The Sims. It's like their own made up kind of language thing going on here. I used to be able to take apart and put an AK-47 back together in less than 60 seconds when I... That's incredible. An AK-47? That's actually kind of crazy. So wait, um, in your service, was that the standard... Okay, hey, 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 Kevin, 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 Kevin. So in, in your service back in your time... The AK-47, the, uh... Oh, was that the standard? Was, what am I trying to say? Like, the standard weapon that your military would use? Is that, does that make sense? You know what I mean by that? Okay, roll call. Kevin, get the hell in there. You just messed up, dude. <clears throat> Go in there. Okay, what's going on? Okay, they're fisting each other? I'm fine. That's uh, whatever. I'm even upset. You guys do that. Somebody else will take care of that. <laughs> yeah, AK okay, AK-47 was the standard. Heavy stuff. I'm sure it, that thing had an incredible kickback. Oh my god. That'd be that'd be intense, dude. That'd be extremely intense. Uh, excuse me? Is this person dead? What's going on here? Why are you have an X? Or are you just knocked the hell out? No, no, no. Don't get up if you're dead. <laughs> if you're dead, we can talk about it. Okay, you just stay here then. Can I click you? Maybe you already clicked. Alright, you're clicked. Very good. Go inside. Roll call. Alright, so what's going on here? Somebody just got... Just got the hell beat out of them. Alright, let's call an ambulance. Whoop, whoop. There you go. Some of the shady stuff that you would see, like, in real life, when it came to, like, the jails and stuff. Like, people die in jails, obviously. Then they call in the ambulance. Then the ambulance takes them to the, uh, hospital, and then they'll maybe pronounce them dead there. But they never want to pronounce the inmates dead at the jail, because that would be bad. Bad, right? Kind of weird stuff. It's evening roll car. Why aren't you waiting in front of yourself? I need to talk to my buddy. 
okay? Uh, you can do it tomorrow. Get in your cell now. If you don't move your ass right now, you will walk. You will talk with me. <laughs> but this is important. Okay? Then you've got one minute. I'll just take a moment. I just want to get a little bit respect with that. That's what I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build up the respect a little bit with the, um, with the, uh, prisoners. I don't want them to riot on me. F off. Excuse me? So, were you... So, we're shooting from the hip, yeah? Yeah, I'm not going to F around. Very well. Uh, maybe you should try not to swear so much for a change. We both know it's effing impossible. Whatever. Get into yourself. With effing pleasure. <laughs> okay. All right. Whatever, dude. You're, you're, you're acting weird, man. Get inside, William. Mr. Glasses forehead that likes to hit me, too. Okay, you going inside, too, Steven? No, Steven, you gotta go. Come on. You gotta go. Hey, you too. Thomas? Thomas. You have a freaking eye tattooed on your back of your head. Which cell? You? What do you mean, which cell? The, one, the only one that's your cell. The one that you sleep in. I sleep where I want to. Today, I can go to... Oh, and to this skinny guy's cell. It's clean enough. I need to throw him out. What did you just say to me? No. No. No sense of humor. This is not the time to play around, freaking Illuminati. Get inside. All right. All right. Now I wonder if there'll ever be any more cells. Like, there's so like if they'll ever open up these cells, like in future updates or anything, because it's kind of weird having all these cells have like cross tape on them. <laughs> it is very weird. It was pretty scary for the first time. My shoulder was basically blue. God. I've never shot I've never shot an assault rifle. Never shot an assault rifle. I've shot handguns, not an assault rifle though. <clears> hmm. <throat> Alright, let's go to the whoa hey. Let's go to the briefing room. I always use the wrong side of the freaking door. Get out of my way. Now I do want uh I do want to hang on a second. I, I want to go to the to the Witchman Jigger room, the 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 warden's office. Is that this way? Yeah, warden's office. I want to see if the skins are in, baby. And I want to see if I can change them. Cause if I can change them, that'd be pretty sick. How's it going, man? How you doing, Kenneth? Hello, I have news for you. Oh, okay. The court has de decided that Hem Hem Helmut. Deserves a more severe punishment. Well, yeah, he murdered someone, possibly. How many more years did they give him? They gave him the chair! Execution! We must be in Texas. I see. That's not all. What else? The date of the execution is tomorrow, and you're the one who's going to carry out the sentence. Why am I the one that can carry out the sentence? I don't want to do that. It's a big responsibility. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Anyways, I'm not taking no for an answer. Glad that you agree. For now, go back to your duties and think and don't think too much about it. And remember, he's a murderer. But that's not that. He doesn't deserve our sympathy. Well, okay. Um, I don't I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> that's that uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So hang on a sec. Where is Not the weapons? Oh look at that. Where? Oh, prison shirts. Here we go. Check this out. Prison shirts. Look at this. So, Squid Games, Octopus Style, The Jeans Redemption, The OG, Black and White, Alcatraz Pinstripes. This is more realistic. This is kind of like um, prisons you would have nowadays. Like the jean shirts, blue shirts. Um, and then this. This is just Squid Games, dude. This is absolutely Squid Games. $700 for that. $400 for the Squid Games. Very well. Now, uh, showers. They have enough showers, yeah? They, they should have enough showers. Workshops. That would help us make more money, right? But you could also get basic cameras for $2,000. Like, no, Trebek, that's too much. I think what we do is we do upgrades in the workshop here. If we buy a workshop hammer... Wait, why would we buy a hammer? We... Wrench is used for? They, they, they should already have this, yeah? Maybe this is additional? I don't know. I'm going to test this out. We're going to go workshop hammer. Buy it. Oh, okay. Nice. 
<laughs> what is your position? You seem to do everything. Yeah, dude. I, I, that's basically what it is. It's like I'm the executioner. I'm the I'm the freaking ad or the I'm the um, I'm the admin, right? I'm doing all these all this crazy stuff. I'm purchasing upgrades to the facility. Um, I whoop ass. I mean, I, I do it all, right? I don't know what position title or what how much money I earned with this title, but my lord, I should be getting a lot because I can do everything. There we go. Hello in the reefing room. All right. Done for the day. You had a prisoner who said his sink was broken. Oh, was there a complaint about that? Oh, is that what it was? Oh, okay, okay. I'll have to keep my eye on that a little bit more. Okay, well, there we go. We got $42 from, or for us, that which is good. The guards' respect did go up. The prisoners' wow. respect did go up. And the riot risk went down. So everything was good. I mean, that that's best best case scenario for the most part. Yeah. Um, what the hell? Did I hit exit? I did not mean to do that. My bad. Look at that guy's freaking tan line, dude. <laughs> okay. Go to death row. All right. Very well. Oh, wait. No. Go to death row. Oh, death row records. Here we go. Oh, this is it. This is it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Oh, baby. This is actually it. Okay. All right. Perform an execution. I, I'd rather not. This is going to make me feel sick a little bit. God damn. Could you imagine this like in real life? Like this moment in time. Come with me. Oh, Leslie. Oh, my Lord. Thank you. <laughs> you got the golden ticket. Thank you so much, Leslie, for that super chat. Really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's so kind of you. Very kind of you. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're angry. You did murder somebody. Could have easily not murdered somebody. You know? Bring it in. Oh, Jesus. Look at it. It's here. Just go in. Just go in. This is you. This is where you go. Oh, this is turning my stomach a little bit. All right. Failure to take one of the steps may result in improper execution, which may result in a painful death for the convict. If you let this happen, you can lose a great deal of respect in the eyes of both guards and prisoners. First, fasten each seatbelt. All right. I mean, do they even do the electric chair anymore? Don't they do, like, lethal injection now? Now you need to prepare a sponge. Pick it up with E and put it in the bucket and soak it by... Okay. Put it in the bucket. Pick it up with E and put it in the bucket. Where's the bucket? You mean the sink? Maybe you mean the sink. Lost in translation there. Then place it on the head of the convict. Ugh. Talk to the prisoner. Ask him about his last words. Oh, yoy, yoy. Any last words? Yeah? What's that? I know what is effing going on here in this dump. I would tell you what is going on, but I have a family to worry about. I, I, like, God bless you and your, your family, but my lord, this is not the time. So it's up to you. Deal with it. I don't think your uh, family worrying about anything. Oh, well, I guess I know what you mean by that now. And my last piece of advice, stay out of it. Are those your final words? So let's begin. Let's not begin. Okay, so I'm just going to, like, hit the freaking thing, but I'm going to, like, look away because I don't want to see this. <laughs> I personally don't want to see this. Ah, oh, crap. It's time to activate the panel. Approach it and then start it by dragging two red fuses. Two red fuses? What? I'm going to do this wrong, dude. Approach it and then start it by dragging two red fuses. I don't want to see it, dude. I don't want to see it. Okay, first step here. Okay. When the panel is started using, or started, set the appropriate power knobs. The suggested voltage is 2,000 voltage. Jesus Christ. 
2,000 voltage. Uh... I hate this. I hate this. Okay, and then while the suggested current is 4A. Wait, what? Oh, 4A. Okay, now what? Insufficient values will not kill the convict, while excessive ones will even lead to a fire. Okay. Afterwards, activate all the switches at the bottom of the panel by using... Okay, all the switches down here, right? Only then you will be able to pull the lever and perform the execution. I don't want to see it. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Stop it. I hated that. Call the morgue. Okay. We're done with that. I hated that. I absolutely hated that. That was the worst. Okay. Um, let's get out of here. Run, just run away. Just quit your job now. Quit your job, buy a van, go on the road, and just become one of those people that live in their vans. That's what we're gonna do now. Get out of here. God. How bad. How freaking bad was that? Do we have any skills to buy? Not really sure. <clears throat> I want to learn something. Sure, what do you want to know? We have one point. Okay, cool. So we can actually get into the trust. You could trade. Yeah, I want this, actually. Give me that. Thank you. Let's play some darts. Let's try to, like, relax ourselves a little bit. That was pretty intense. Which variant of darts would you like to play? There's golf, high score, around the clock, Shanghai. I have no idea of any of these. Let's go high score. <laughs> Put your van down by the river. Chris Farley. 10 bucks. Chris Farley, David Spade. And I've been doing it down by the river. All right, let's just play a classic game of darts, right? F. Try again. There we go. That's a better dart. I was never good at darts in real life. Oh, perfect. You hit the wall two times. What the heck is wrong with you, dude? I was never good at darts. We used to have a dart board in our garage once upon a time. When I was a child, dude, three perfects in a row, don't at me. And, um, <clears throat> we used to, all the time, well, not all the time, I say all the time, but the only people that did it was me and my brother. We would, we would throw darts at the dartboard, right? Because that's what you do. And, like, we would throw them. There was more holes around on the wall than there was in the dartboard. That tells you something. Like, I know, like, darts is like a the type of game that you play at the bar or the pub, you know, a good drinking game. But man, it's 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 difficult sober, man. I'm telling you, it's difficult sober. There you go. I'm like picking up these perp. Oh damn it! I say, I'm picking up these perfects though. <laughs> I'm telling you. There we go. Perfect. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa! What do you mean I missed? How did I miss? That was right down the middle, dude. What do you do after you execute someone? I go play darts. Yeah, it, it, it's just what I do. Dude, this guy sucks. <laughs> Alcohol and pointy objects. Exactly, right? It doesn't make it. From, the, from outside looking in, it makes no damn sense. But people do it. Like, I don't know. I've never been to a, a bar or to a pub where I watch people play darts and nor I do I have the desire to, really. <laughs> Dart master. Look at that. I don't have the desire to because, like, anybody drunk, like, any, any drunk public place there's been, really, not like, well, I say drunk public play, pe place. That, that's kind of weird to say. Like, oh, my God. What is this? Any place that has, like, heavy drinking, um, there always seems to be, like, arguments or fights or stuff like that, right? 
And so, like, if you want to go somewhere where there's pool sticks or darts, big blunt objects or big sh or little tiny sharp pointy objects, like, why, why, why would you want to put yourself in that atmosphere? Prisoners who are waiting for their turn to shower have different levels of patience, depending on their character. Aggressive, neutral, and gentle. Aggressive people are the least patient, so appoint them first. Okay? Walks have been with clean towels, so to hand them them, it's like we're at a hotel. Okay? All right. Good. Okay, so who wants a nice clean towel? Who is aggressive? You are harmless. You are neutral. You are aggressive. You go first, Trevor, Trevor Pretzel. Trevor Pretzel. You go second. And you, yeah, everybody else is harmless, and you go third. There you go. All right, I only have three showers, boys, so you're going to have to wait it out. Mm. Shouldn't take that long. At this time, we can look at this beautiful painting of a, or beautiful picture of a, of a dolphin. One of the most intelligent creatures that, that exists in this world. Do I need to go in here and, like, watch them shower? I don't even know. No, I don't want to watch them shower. Don't take that out of context. That's not what I'm talking about. Stop it. Rubber duckies. Enough. I don't want to watch them shower. I just want to make sure they don't kill each other showering. You know what I mean. When the prisoners take take the showers, you have to collect the dirty towels from them. Otherwise, he will be blocking a cabin. Okay? Put the dirties in the dirties and the cleans. Okay, I get it. I get it. Who, who's, who's ready? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is cool. We haven't done the showers yet. This is really cool. There you go. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Okay, you guys are next. You guys go get it done. There you go. Who are you? Excuse me, you are Jason. You are neutral. Who are you? You are aggressive. We'll send you off next. There you go. He's very upset. Just let one guy... Just let one guy bother me and I'll kill him. I... The game, like, really, like, gets lost in translation. Translation a little bit. Like, the, the English is kind of questionable when a pr prisoner gets tired of waiting he'll just miss his shower day and you'll have a smaller chance of getting a bigger bonus wait what sometimes a bored prisoner can attack someone then he should be pacified okay all right okay my ass is itchy that what the hell is wrong with you dude jesus christ hurry up in there let's go come on not let's not take all day come on come on thank you thank you thank you Appreciate that. It's so cool that you guys like take showers in 20 seconds fully clothed. It's pretty impressive actually. There you go. Let's make sure this guy in his itchy ass is fine. Here you go. There you go. This guy. Harmless. Neutral. F in chat. There we go. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I know I'm going really fast. Let's grab this. This guy is aggressive. There we go. Hello, Swamp Dog. Uh, when do you plan on doing more good? Uh, so we actually, <laughs> that's funny. We just actually got done talking about that earlier. But yeah, um, I, I plan on coming back to it very, very, very soon. Yes, because we still need to finish it off. And I think I'm like towards the end anyways. So yeah, we're going to be finishing off the good life soon. I just had to step away from Oh Baby for a sec. <laughs> if, you, if you know what I mean. Like, I, I thought, like, I like to say Oh Baby. I mean, one of my freaking channel memberships is called Oh Baby. I like to say it, but my God. Uh -oh. I do not like to hear her say it all the time. <laughs> like, that is crazy. Right? Thank you. I don't know why the devs did that. I don't know why the devs decided to, to put... Uh, okay, he just left. Um, to put that every time you hit the sprint button. But they did. So it is what it is. But yeah. I like the good life. Plus there's been uh, I think I some people have been talking about me wanting or wanting to see me go do a little bit of upgrades and stuff to the house and, and things like that. So there, there's still quite a bit I want to do. I might I don't know how it will end. Like I don't know if the storyline once the storyline finishes if we can um, if we can then like free roam. If so, I'll finish the storyline in episodic terms, and then I might live stream like the upgrades to the house if there's a free roam afterwards. That'd be kind of cool. I would like to do that. I would dig that. Here we go. Everyone has been showered. Uh oh, some noise. Hello? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> this is shout for F's sake. Justin, stop yelling into your radio. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sound of hanging up. Cool. 
All right. We'll just take this free time. It bothers me when she does the gun to the head motion. I know. I don't know why they did that either. Like, and it'd be just random times. Just like, like, why did they have to add that animation? Like, what, what was that all about? I never understood that. Like, okay, if she would have done it one time in the whole game, I get it. Whatever. But she does it. Like, somebody will say, oh, I forgot to bring you a lemon juice. She'll be like, of course you did. Like, what are you doing? What, what, what is that all about, you know? <laughs> I don't get it. There's a, there's, a, there's a few questionable things when it comes to that game on why the devs did what they did. But overall, I, I like it. I enjoy the game overall. Yeah. It's another indie game dev. That game also kind of gets lost in translation as far as English goes sometimes as well. But that's all right. Checking everybody's stuff here. Oh, some tuna. Some tuna, tuna, tuna. Stephanie Queen, the Blue Mile. Okay. <laughs> Anything in here? Nope. Any on the lid? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. And nope. All right, this is all good. Close it up. Pick it up and checked. Now, if there's any contraband, I will maybe leave it in here. If it's contraband, that I will let pass. And that's hopefully just getting the prisoners in a good, um, like, good respect state of mind here. <clears throat> Hello, Jeremy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> there we go. Apples. Very well. Yeah, it's just, it's something else. Like, it's it's just, I don't know, man. I, I had to take a step back for a sec, but I do plan on bringing that back. And it might be sooner than you really think, because a lot of people would love to see it come back. And I would love to bring it back. I absolutely would. And it's going to. I, I say would, but it, it's going to come back. So, yeah. Oh. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that, Bella? That's a Bella, dude. We're going to secure the needle. I think Danielle's home. I think she just got home. From the store. <clears throat> from the freaking store. White chocolate. Oh, this is terrible. I'm not a big white chocolate fan. Neither is Danielle. I mean, you got to have like a certain taste. Like white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. <clears throat> you know, you either like it or you don't. Right? Milk chocolate. Love it. Dark chocolate. Love it. White chocolate. It's okay. I'm not saying that I hate it, but I, I'm, you know, I'm saying that it's okay. <laughs> okay, so let's go out here and do some weight training. See how that's going. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh my god! Let me see that. Oh my god. Look at this big box of moon pies to the forehead. That's the big boy pack. That's the real deal. You don't know what real deal is unless you see this. Look in the corner. See this? Double decker. Now, now we know. Now we know what to do. It, that's life. <laughs> Double decker. That's how you know you made the right decision. Oh, crap. I forgot how to do this. Okay. <clears throat> bring it in, bring it in. White chocolate isn't chocolate. <laughs> oh, hey. It's my man. UK girl reporting for duty. Seesaw, hello, Seesaw. How are you? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Oh, I spoke about moon pies literally the other night. You did, you did. And I had to get some. <laughs> you did. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So good. Double decker, though. That's that's the real deal. Like, we bought, like, the Dollar Tree type. Like, there's a Dollar Tree mini moon pies. Those were crap, dude. Those were absolutely crap. You have to get the real deal double deckers. Then you know. <clears throat> Here we go. We're not doing the bet. We're just training ourselves just to hopefully get some attributes or skills or whatever it's called here. There we go. Gain 20 plus stamina. Absolutely. I'm, like, losing my voice here. My lord, I gotta take a drink. Oh, can me out. <laughs> Moon pie needs to stop needs to stop. 
or needs to start paying me for promoting. When I tried Moon Pies, I had double deckers. Yes. <clears throat> if you tried Moon Pies and you had double deckers, that's the way to go. Now there, there's Moon Pies out there that are uh, banana Moon Pies. Not a fan. I'm not a fan of the banana Moon Pies. I will say that. Not a fan. So we have 43 respect percent percent respect for the prisoners, which has just gone up about four percent. No, 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 no. This guy doesn't get it, dude. He literally doesn't get it. Okay, go away. One whack. No, no, no. I'll give you another one. Go away. We don't do this. Hi, Merce. How are you? Hello, Mercy. You got excited, didn't you, to come up here? Okay, go away. Fire. Fire. Go to the fire. <clears throat> see some people from the UK. That's really cool. It's really nice to see people from the, the other side of the world. Really do enjoy that. Please, not with the dude, <laughs> madman. Do you see that there's a fire going on here? Come on, man. Come on, Chandler Bing. Stop it. Thank you. Let's see this. <laughs> Who wins? <laughs> okay. It's good to see people from the other side, though. It really is. It's funny because, like, obviously you guys know I'm from California. I'm from the United States. I'm from the West Coast. Not a lot of people will watch me because, like, so the way I speak and the way I talk is obviously not correct in different cultures and a lot of different cultures and just in general. <laughs> I don't speak very well. I don't talk very well. I have this way of saying things. So people from California don't watch people that live in California. But people from other states, other countries, they'll watch people from California. But the people that live in California don't watch people from California. Does that make sense? <laughs> Are you aware anything that's banana flavored is flavored by an extinct banana? What? What? An extinct... Like, what about... Uh, what's the banana... Like... My favorite Laffy Taffy. Banana flavored Laffy Taffy. That's 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 good. Banana Laffy Taffy, right? Toodle Pip goes the Brit. I've heard that a few times. I, I don't even know what the heck that is, dude. Toodle Brit. Toodle Pip goes the Brit. <laughs> Anyways, we're just waiting for like 25 seconds for these guys to have their yard. I mean, I could call them in now if I wanted to, but I'm trying to get the extra respect here. <clears throat> Just give it a moment. Just give it a sec. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> you'll see. Three, two, one, baby. There we go. Minus 2% on something. And that was Riot Risk. What is that? Huh? That's a pina colada? How is that a pina colada? Let me see. That's a pina colada? It says jelly belly. Oh, it's a jelly belly. Jelly belly pina colada candy cane. What the hell is that, dude? I've never heard of that. <laughs> Ever. <clears throat> Banana flavoring is based off of the old type of bananas that would later go extinct in America, but this is only part true. In reality, banana flavoring became popular in American markets before actual bananas would. People knew about bananas, but had largely never tried them. Interesting. I didn't know that. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Hiya. Also, love, love, love banana moon pies. They are actually my favorite moon pies. Oh my god, we have somebody that loves banana moon pies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I have a friend that likes banana moon pies. He does. He absolutely does. I personally, he kind of freaks me out a little bit. But banana laffy taffy, I'll take that any day. That is your daily Stacy random fact. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, today is over. Oh, so we got forty-three dollars, one hundred and seventy-four dollars for prison money. 
Uh, guard respect went up. Prisoners respect went even more up. And the riot risk went down even more. So good. That's what we want. That's how we keep our prison moving smoothly. If we get all... Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Reporting for duty. My God, it just clocked in. I suppose I don't have to explain what's happening. We got a riot. The whole prison is being destroyed by the MFers. <laughs> There are fights and fires everywhere. Oh, God. I know you're an experience, but you'll have to take care of the situation. I, I I call BS. The prison riot percentage was 18%. This is the lowest it's ever been. What exactly do we have to do? First, call for help. We need more people. Without them, we won't be able to get this situation under control. Next, take a look around and go to the yard. Try getting some of those idiots to stand down. What about weapons? Do you expect me to do this with bare hands? I was about to say, the weapons are in the locker where you are right now. There are a few more lock- This is so damn loud. In the B block, guard room. Near the vending machines and inside the packaging room. I, I'm gonna pretend like I remember that. Okay, what's next? We're gonna find the keys that were stolen or lost by the guards, then retake the other rooms held by the prisoners. And you expect me to do this all alone? I'm sorry, lad. We're too short staffed for this. Our boys will help you, at least for those who are still alive. Remember, you're not invincible. There's death in those corridors. If you lose consciousness or once or twice, nothing bad will happen. Probably, well, but try not to get yourself killed. Oh, and don't forget to extinguish the fires or unlock the doors if you find any. Good luck! Okay. Stand down. Stand, stand down. Stand down. Stand down. Stand down. Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 hey. You stand down too. Look it. I'm giving you guys opportunities here. Help the guard at the shooting range. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need a fire extinguisher. I need a fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Grab this. This is so intense, dude. Okay, some of the doors of the prison can be damaged by a lock themselves. Sometimes it's prisoners who make them the way out, or make them that way. To open such a door, clean the lock. No, I'm not cleaning a lock at a time like this. Oh, crap. What the heck did just happen? <laughs> Oh, okay, I see. Not too hard. Very well. Okay, guard's room is open. Oh my god, it's a mess in here. Door shut behind me, kind of scary. Fire, fire, fire. Dude, the freaking music is out of control right now. Oh, no, no, no. Stand down, stand down. No! No! Don't do it! Stop it! Go away! Oh my god. I hate to do this. That guy is in the fire. Help him! Help him! Oh, I'm in the fire now. Help me! Help me! <laughs> Oh my god, dude, these guys are insane! These guys are absolutely insane! This is why we took our target practicing. Okay, very good. Get away from him! We're beating the hell out of him! Are you okay, man? Are you alright? Henry? We need more, we need more. Get more clips. And another handgun. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Take over the cantina. Okay. Yo. Oh my god, dude. That guy scared me. Oh god. Okay. Security. Cleared. Workshop. What the heck is going on in the workshop, dude? Okay, uh, not cleared. <laughs> I like to think these are like just pellet guns, like BB guns, like bean bags, right? I think that's what they are. I think that's what they would use anyways. Holy crap. Oh, shoot. 
Release, release, shake, shake, shake it like a salt shaker. There we go. Fantastic. Shake it like a salt shaker again. Very good. Sorry about not staying up on chat right now, but this stuff is crazy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Canteen. You guys don't want this. Okay, you guys don't want this. Yo, the other guard has a gun too. What the hell are you shooting at? <laughs> okay. All right, find the keys. I have to find the keys. Where's the keys? Find the keys in the canteen or the shooting range. Okay, so in here maybe. Possibly keys. Hopefully they'd be like on the ground or not on a prisoner. This is so damn loud, dude. Oh, there they are. Run. Go. We got the keys in the canteen. Now go to the shooting range. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, shoot. Excuse me. Pardon me. Run, 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 run. Okay, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. Hey, how you doing? Uh, where's the keys? There they are. There we go. All right, good. Take over the workshop. Wait, take over the workshop? We went in there and there was like floating blueprints. What do you mean take over the workshop? You can't just take it over. The workshop's taking over itself. Still floating stuff in here. Oh, is there so many prisoners in this prison? What are they shooting at still? There you go. I got you, bud. There you go. Oh, God. Okay, you go in there. I'll, I'll reload. There you go. I shot the prisoner. Or the guard. I accidentally shot the guard. That was fucking chaotic. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that was absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, let's go have a brief. Let me just debrief real quick. There's bodies laying everywhere. Let's go debrief. This guy is just casually standing in here. I, I'll be upset. He's casually standing in here. I'm a little upset. Did you not help out? Anyways. Hang on, let's see here. The, that guard is thick. What's a moon pie? This is a moon pie. Oh, baby, that's a moon pie. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Hello, Mana Forever. How are you? It's like a cake with marshmallow. Oh, yeah. You like this game? Welcome, Swamp Dog. What kind of gun is that? I think it's like, I think it would have to be like a beanbag. A beanbag gun. Hello, Officer Steam. There's a lot of R noises in this game. Hello, Pug. How are you? Been at work and just stopped in to say hello. Hope work is going well for you today. Hope everything's all good. Or paintball gun. That's a good shout. Good shout. No prisoner left when you are done. Just that one prisoner who took a nap at the right time. <laughs> Pure chaos. That should have been instant fail to shoot the guard. Well, to be fair, if you shoot the guards, it's kind of like helping out the prisoners. So it kind of would down the respect for the guard and then up the respect for the for the prisoners. Like the prisoners would like it if you shot the guards. Prison just because all prisoners is dead now. No prisoner made made a safe prison. <laughs> Alright, I want to stay a little- wait, what the heck? Want to call for a transport for you and call it a day, or you want to search the prison a little bit more? Um, honestly, I think I'm tired. Let's end the day already. I think I'm tired. You know what? We had a, we had a riot. I think I'm good for the day. I think I can uh, cash in, get my paycheck. Yeah, see, we got minus respect for the guards there, because we shot a guard in the friggin' forehead. Three days later. Alright. Oh yeah, everything's back to- how it's supposed to be, right? Yeah, look at this. Yo, mama is so ugly that when she works in prison... Wait, that she works in prison as a punishment? Stop being... Stop being mean to Brian? I think because Brian put this on the wall, I think we have to, we have to be mean to Brian. Now. <laughs> like, you don't put something like this without having some sort of... Smart ass from Mark coming towards you, dude. <laughs> okay, Satanism with the penis on it. I, you know what? Let's erase that. Let's let's get that out of there. 
What the heck does that say? Watch your steps? Hello, Danny. How are you? It's getting more hectic as the days go by after December 1st. It is going to be very spicy at work. Why is it so spicy during this December? Is it because... Is it because of... Is it because of hirees? Why is it so, um... Why is it so crazy during this time? Stop bullying, Brian. <laughs> Doing good? You're off today? Oh, that's good. That's good that you're off today, Danny. Do you have something in the shower? Oh, baby. Look at those footsteps. Ugh. F it. Oh, look at that. Is that a collectible? It is a collectible. <laughs> this is a, so if you guys don't know, there's collectibles, there's 10 collectibles at the game. And to give a little bit of brief history about what's going on. So I got to read this just because it's a soap. It's funny, right? I guess everyone's heard about the famous soap dropping in prison showers stick and its potential consequences. In most cases, it's a myth. It has become a little more than a joke. The person who dropped the soap becomes a laughing stock for the rest of the prisoners, especially when they dare to pick it up. Therefore, prisoners often carry two dice of soap. Ope, ope, dice, ope, soap, or of soap. Maybe that's a misspelling there. Dice of soap with them to avoid this situation. Of course, this depends on the facility where the person who stick out his butt while picking up the soap may be put to rest, to the test. What happens next depends on the reaction of the prisoner who's picking up the soap. Therefore, just in case, it is better not to pick up the soap. Just let it go. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, all right. All right. Dropping the soap, dude. You ever drop the soap in prison? You know what happens? No, what happens? Oh, you don't know what happens? Oh, you would love it. Why do you why 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 do you think I would love it? Oh, trust me, you would love it. It's like one of those jokes that you always heard in like high school or like middle school that just always kept going and then was like Haha, -ha, yes, we, we, we still say it because, you know, maybe one of us one day will go to prison and actually do it. Well, now that we're adults, been out of high school for almost 10 years. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, some of us go to prison. Some of our classmates do end up going to jail, do break the law, do get on drugs, do become successful. It's all different kinds of walks of life. It's funny, though. It's not funny. It's terrible, but it's just, it, I don't know. Like, the people that you suspect in school where you're like, oh, yeah, you know, maybe they they will be, uh, maybe they won't do well in life, end up doing well in life, actually. They actually end up doing well in life. And people that you think wouldn't do good in life ends up not doing so good in life. Newbie, report. I need you. What's the problem? Oh, damn, so loud. At least one responsible person in this shithole. Some jerk lost the prison keys. Okay, last time we lost the prison keys, there was a riot. And not just one pair of them. Take a quick stroll around and find this. As soon as you can. Before some prisoner finds it. Don't slack off. We don't have much time. Okay. Workshop. So the workshop. Wait, the workshop has the keys? We have to find the workshop in here? Or the keys in the workshop? Who has the keys? Who has the keys? Who wants the keys? Is it going to be on somebody? No, it can't be on somebody. Because we are losing a major program to verify everything and then it will be then it will be that we will not be able to verify a lot of things and I don't know if our company will be ready for that. Really? I wonder why you be losing verifications. A way to verify. That seems pretty important actually. Okay, we got the keys in here. Canteen and cell blocks now. Canteen and cell blocks. Got some got some sleep to catch up on. You're excited? That's that's always good, dude. That's always good. That's always good. I became disabled, but I rock it. Hey, rock rocket. Rocket. Rocket, don't sock it.
people can people with disabilities be put in jail yes yes people with disabilities can be in, put in jail but um depending on the disability it can be uh it, it depends it really depends if it's a physical if it's a mental there's there's all different kinds of things but yes you break the law you break the law right you're off until friday well that's good Wait, what is today? What is today? Today Tuesday? No. What's today? Today's Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. Tuesday. So you're off until Friday. Alright, well that's good. <clears throat> oh baby. I come to my baton at soon. Do people speak in mumbo jumbo in this game? Yeah, they speak like um they kind of speak like the Sims type thing. They just like wah, 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 wah. what's that? What do you got there? It's very hot in here. It's because that heater is on. What is that? Little Nutellas? Where'd you get the little Nutellas? Oh, why'd you bring him in here? Oh, you bought. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where did you get the jelly? Give me the keys. You guys can't just sit here and just have the keys in the middle. Like, what the heck? That no, that doesn't fly. How did? I don't even know. Why would you even have the keys out there in the middle like that? Anyways, how ridiculous was that? <laughs> So we are level seven now, which means we unlock a few things for the prison. We, um, what is it? We, what is it? Skill points, skill points. We have skill points now that we can use. Are they in here? Hello? In the trash? Keys, I'm looking for keys in here. That is a spicy lady there. Oh, there they are. Oh my God, stop it. Didn't really think you would succeed. I gotta like find a way to turn that down. No problem. Bring those keys to the, to the room at the end of the day, over and out. Okay. Wait, damn. You found four pairs, right? No, I only found three. Well, one is missing. Probably one of these idiots has lost them somewhere. Get back to work. Okay. Know that something's up. Okay. Uh, real quick, let, let me just let me just see. Like the voice, maybe turn that down a little bit. The sound effects, down a little bit. The UI is fine. But like this, good God. Gotta like come come clean there. So maybe we talk to the prisoners about this. Oh wait, we have something to trade. Let's talk to this guy. Hey you. I don't do nothing. Well, I have maybe like stuff to buy and sell. Show me your goods. I have illegal stuff on me. I can sell you. Like illegal. Like I have this dude. I have, I have joints. <laughs> you want some of this? Oh, you get respect and money. Oh, you you give them, you get respect. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, well, then, I want to give you these for respect. Nice. Okay. I know this is, like, weird, right? It's like, why would you do such things? But, you know, it, it's, it's all gamey, right? It's all gamey. Want to get some money? What's going on? Can you give this order to Thomas Lewis? He'll cut you some money for the trouble and for me, of course. Right? Money is needed. Huh, I like your approach. Hey, believe it or not, this actually does happen in real life. Don't try to cheat me. It's better not to have me as an enemy. Understand? I think so. What about the cash? Remember to take your money from Thomas. He won't give you anything if you don't tell him about it. If you do it well, it will be. I will be so grateful. One more thing: be careful around some guards. Some of them are very dis uh, distressful, and I'll t uh, and they'll shake you down. If you see a guard like that, find another way. Otherwise, they will shake you down and take everything that seems to be off, including my package. So you better not get caught. Okay, Thomas Lewis. Where's Thomas? Okay, that that guard's suspicious. Over here. What about this? Excuse me. Pardon me. Another person to buy and trade. This guy's a Lambo in his... Okay. So dirty in here. Is this Thomas? Are you Thomas? You're Trevor. 
But you have a quest for me as well. Let's talk to you. So dirty. <laughs> I've got business. Can you... <laughs> I've got business as he's sitting here doing it. It depends. I need a file yesterday. Okay. There's nothing free. Right. Get me it by tonight and I'll give you $120. I'll put gratitude for free. Um, it's really urgent. All right. So we got to get a... A package. Well, we got to give package to Lewis. Which is somewhere. I don't know where Thomas Lewis is exactly at. Oh, there's Thomas Martin. That guy's suspicious. We got to stay away from him. Gene, Steven, Jim, Jim Shepard. Thomas Lewis. There we go. Cool. Excuse me. Hello, Thomas. My hands are itchy. I, You're holding something right there. <laughs> I've got a gift from you from William. Ah, yes. What about money? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Here, you've got the cut for William. What about my money? Okay, there's 20 bucks for you. Only 20 bucks? I risked a lot coming to you for this gift. So, how much do you want? Um, this should be the price. Eh, I can give you that. Oh, wait, maybe I did that wrong. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, talk to William Moore. This is about smuggling. William Moore. One of these prisoners named William? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, William. The guy we talked to earlier. Hey, William, we did the package. And what, everything's fine? Well, yeah, everything is fine. Package has been delivered. Payment? Um, you're cut. Let's count. All right. You've made it. Maybe one day I'll ask you about something again, okay? I'm going my way. I know nothing. You know nothing. Very well. Okay, so get a file. So how would we get a file, I wonder? I don't even know how we would get a file. Like in the filing cabinet? That's like first thing. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe somewhere else. We are on free time at the moment. But even then, like trying to find a file out of this entire prison is kind of insane. I don't know if I would like to do that or would want to do that. You have the gun shooting practice over here? Yeah. I think you threw away the banana peel in the cantina in the wrong place. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did. I did. I threw it away in the uh, in the wrong in the wrong bin for sure. Now I'm going to clean this gun cuz this gun I would like to use at some point. Looks pretty cool. I mean, this is assault rifle, right? Okay, take this down, take this out. It's like an M4. There we go. Let's clean this bad boy up. What the heck is this? Oh, it's the... Yeah, okay. Oh, God. Press the right key. Okay, so D. Sorry, D. W. Sorry, D. W. A. W. A. W. D. That was difficult. That broke my head a little bit. Okay. Do this. Spray it off. There we go. Rotate it possibly here in a sec. There we go. Rotate that. Very good. Wipe it clean. Wipe. Wipe. Wipe it down. Oh, wow. That was nasty, dude. There we go. Very good. Okay, so that's done. Then we go with the optics. This part's hard. I gotta, like, figure out where and how they use the Q-tip. Oh, right there. Q-tip. And then the top I mean we do have enough money if we really wanted to change our prisoners outfit into the squid games or into just regular like long the longest yard type thing wait is there more oh there is right there there we go very well okay nothing else for that I don't think and then this spray it off Very good. <clears throat> I think Danielle, didn't you also like, just, like, dropped off these? These are peppermint crunch thins. It's like that time of the year. Andes. Like I do like the Andes. The Andes is pretty good. I do have to say, the black and green. You know the Andes you get from like Olive Garden. You go to Olive Garden, they're like, here, have a mint and chocolate. I dig that. I'm a fan of that. I'm absolutely fan of that. The best thing about these though is like, you put them in the fridge or put them in the freezer. 
then they're double the you know double good right there we go get the butt stock here grab this spray it off very well very well is that it no no then wipe it clean and that should do it right we should be able to put this together yeah okay cool boom 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 and now we can use the assault rifle if we wanted to awesome chocolate belongs in the fridge absolutely except for this chocolate except for tootsie rolls <laughs> i don't know if you want those in the fridge that would be a freaking tooth breaker i tell you what oh by the way tootsie rolls banana to tootsie rolls are like the flavor like the fruit flavored tootsie rolls i don't like that either <laughs> i don't like the those <laughs> The, the fruit flavored Tootsie Rolls, not, not a big fan of that. So the monitoring. Okay, so today is, is your turn to work in the monitoring room. This, this is new to us. You have access to all security cameras in the prison. To change the camera view, use the arrow keys. Uh, you need to use the sharp eye and search for any suspicious behavior to report an inmate. You need to find a guard who is nearest into the incident's location. Sometimes you can see a red camera icon on the map. That means it's broken, but it can still transmit images. Okay. Oh, God. Here I go. Ugh. You know it belongs in my stomach? <laughs> okay, so... We have... What do we have here? Camera angles. Okay. In and out, in and out. So all the prisoners are in here. I can pause? Oh. Pause? Holy crap, dude. Look how many cameras there are in this prison. This is, this is intense, dude. This is extremely intense. So report a prisoner who is, oh God, suspicious in the corridors. Excuse me, what? What happened? I don't see a prisoner in the corridors. But there is some weird stuff going on here. Like, obviously, this is weird. Wait. Oh, wait. Can I rotate? <laughs> I'm a little. I'm a little weird. I'm a little weirded out. I will. I will say. Oh. 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 God. There he is. Uh, somebody. Thomas. Thomas. No, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. This guy right here. Guards? Hey, you. Patrol. Come over here. Patrol over here. I think he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. I hear his footsteps. Dude, these lights are giving me headaches. Come on. My man. No, my man. My man, my man, my man. We need you. We need you. We need you. Yo, there's nobody here to help out. Hey, there's nobody here to help out. I don't know, dude. I really don't know. I need you to patrol. Oh, there you go. Okay, get on him. Get on him. Yo, hey, 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 hey. Backup. Call for backup. Call for backup. Or beat him in the head with a baton. Good job. Fantastic. You did a great job. That was a little weird, I'll be honest with you. Oh, he just actresses him up. Very well. What is he going to do? He's going to walk it off. He's going to walk it off. All right. Very good. He said something about the... Oh, what the heck is this guy doing? Don't you guys... Hey, hey, hey! Don't you guys see what's going on here? Anybody see what's going on here? This guy is kicking a fire extinguisher while this guy is kicking another human being. And you guys don't care? That guy just died. <laughs> that guy just got knocked out. What? This is a weird mechanic. I don't know if I like this 
whole monitoring system. This is very strange. We have 45 seconds left. It's all right. Suspicious behavior in B block. I mean, come on, look at this. Repr reprimand. You? Jack? Jack, can I have you? Jack? Get this guy. We're kicking the stairs. We do not want him kicking stairs. Get him out of here. If he ever kicks my stairs again, he's going to the chair. <laughs> okay, get him. Get him. Jack, get him. There you go. Good job. Okay, can we all, like, calm down now? Can we all be friends? Okay, I think I started to understand that a little bit more towards the end, but... That was... That was hell, dude. That was actual hell. Someone fix this? How do we fix this? I don't know. How do we fix this? Know something? Oh, I see. Because we'll just take the, the screws off. Fix the circuit. A cube? Parts of the camera? Well, we want to leave that, yeah. And then, I guess the wires are fine? Unless we gotta, like, undetach everything. Parts of the camera. Status is good. Look, okay, the coil's broken. Repair that. Anything else? That coil's good. Repaired? Oh, the circuit's bad. All right. Parts of the camera broken. Okay. Broken. All right. Repair. And repair. That should be all. Yeah. Right? There we go. Cool. Nice. $120 to fix that camera. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go to cell block for evening head count. Let's go do it. Evening head count. I hate this part. I hate doing head count. It's such a hassle, dude. They just, they don't listen. It's like child care. It's like daycare. Get in there. I don't want to hear you. Get in there. I don't want to hear you. Get in there. 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 Send it. Send it. Send it. Alright, who's not in there? Obviously you folks. Shit, shit, shit. What? 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 Roll call. But I've dropped my thing. I need to find it first. Okay. You do that. I'll just mark you as present. Click. You. F off. Don't ever do that again. Watch your mouth. That guy just went into the other person's cell. And he's beat the hell out of him. Time out. No. You want to beat me while he's being beat? Stop it. You go away. Hey. Enough. Everybody just stop. I just got hit by a guard, I think. My lord. Stop it. This is why I hate evening count. Okay, you guys. Oh, this guy. This guy's done for. This guy's done for. Okay, there we go. Shut the gates. There we go. You stay in there. You stay in there. You stay in there. Everybody just stop it. Be nice to each other. Good God. You guys live together. Evening roll call. Let's go. Uh, you can do it tomorrow. But this is important. All right. We'll let you go. <laughs> you. Alexander. Stop. You're, you're going you're gonna to give them. You're going to give them a reason to come out here. We don't want them to come out here. I should have probably shut the door beforehand. That needs to stay open. Go in there. Go in there, man. <laughs> Jeez Louise. There we go. Go to the briefing room now. All right. So one thing about this game that's interesting is that there seems to be kind of a story taking place, maybe kind of like there was the execution obviously there was the riot in a way um you want to be like i don't know if that was just the game trying to introduce us to different game mechanics and then eventually they'll start to recycle the content i'm not really sure i'm kind of playing to see if anything will become recycled again 
Right now, it's like not that big of a deal. I mean, yeah, there's stuff that we've had to do over and over, but that's like daily duties. But I'm talking like big stuff. Guards respect went down by one. Prisoners is fine. See, the riot risk was 20%. So I guess we had like a one in what? What is that? One in five chance of a, of a riot breaking out. But I think that was supposed to happen. I think it really was. For game tutorial sake. Now they want us to go to the morgue. Oh, God, no. Please, I don't want to go to the morgue. Anybody that's ever worked in a morgue... How do you do it? Anybody that's worked for the coroner's office, how do you do it? Like, honestly. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay. Going to the morgue. Alright, alright. What can we do here? Yep, yep, yep. I figured. This, this is where they, uh... This is where they do stuff. Yep. Oh, what the heck? Check the contents of the bag? This is not what I was expecting. I was thinking like some bad boy stuff. What the heck, dude? The finest white powder? Underground prison labs? Okay. Zip the bag up. Bring the bag to the gate. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. White business. Wait for unusual behavior. Beats being a diver looking for debt. That's true. I've heard some horror stories about uh, divers. Like there was um, there's a sergeant I know that works at the local uh, local jail facility here, and his uh, some of his um, collateral. I, I think that's what they call it. Collateral is they uh, you know different jobs and different things you train to become and do and different tasks for the sheriff's department. One of his was the diving team, and he said that he was part of the diving team for a couple years, and ever since he did the diving team, he would never take his kids, or he would never go to the lake again, after all the stuff he's seen. Dark muddy water, they can't be paid enough. Yeah, right? I know. Crazy stuff. And, like, not even that, like, to, like, even, like, if you were to even find a body in the water and it's been there for days or months, like, the, the way the body would then become after being in water for so long, good God. Crazy. <laughs> Wish I could work with stuff like that. Speak for the ones that can't speak for themselves anymore. That's a, that's a, that's a one way to put it. That's one way to put it. By the way, hello, John. How are you? Hope everything's well, John. Is this prison dealing drugs? It's starting, it's starting to look like it. I think that's what our executioner was talking about. He said they're doing something here bad. And then this is this is that entirely. There we go. Eh? I have a package for you. There you go. All right. Let's go to the other 50, 40 meters away. This is just good for our stamina and speed. Right? I think. Don't shut the door on yourself, forehead. There you go. Come on. Oh, this is easy. This is this is a piece of cake. No big deal here. Let me just walk to the guy. <laughs> I think I told you what happened to my daughter's stepsister, right? No, I don't think you did. I don't think you have before. Good. What about me? I'm doing good. Um, today it's raining and it's dark and cloudy, right? Dark, cloudy, and raining. Let me see here out my window. Yeah, still dark and cloudy, not much raining anymore, but it is at least dark and cloudy, and um, that's the way I like it. It never rains in California, but it's raining today, and um, or it rained last night, and it's dark and cloudy, so I like it. I don't like the heat. I hate the heat. I prefer not the heat. What the hell is going on here, dude? What the hell is this? Routine canteen. Various problems can occur in the canteen, from poisoning through the fi fire to classic brawls. Sometimes it can happen that someone calls for a riot. Rebook him. Rebook him? Him. And if necessary, stop him before he is followed by a crowd. Summoned to the prison yard, the canteen also has a minimum time, but letting the inmates spend more time there can increase your level of respect. When the minimum time is reached, remember that. Okay, we know about that. 
Oh my god, look at them go. So keep order is what we need to do here. <laughs> this guy's eating by himself? Oh, I'm sorry. It's like the old guy from Squid Games. Are we really sorry for the old man? Really? Hey! 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 No, no, no! Enough! I think I hit the wrong person. Okay, hey! Stop it. Down. Down. <laughs> like I did the limbo on the table. No, no. I saw that. Both of you guys, stop it. Go. Go sit down. Go eat. Go. Go eat. I don't want to talk to you like I talk to my dog. Go eat. <laughs> Go eat, Bella. Go eat. She has no problem with you. Hey! She has no problem eating. Oh, you sons of bitches. Stop it. Chandler, quit it. Stop it. Good God. From Australia, Victoria Melbourne. Well, hello there, Stuart. Good to see you. Good to see you. Very happy for you to stop in and say hello. Very happy for that. Thank you so okay, much. From, uh, and hi from Australia. Australia. All the Aussies from a land down under. I'd love to see that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Not to be a downer, but on 4th of July, about 10 years ago, they went to the lake in Dallas, Texas, and she drowned. I was not home, and when I listened to the message, it was a stressful minute or two before they... I told you what happened to my daughter's stepsister, right? Daughter's stepsister. She drowned, really. They answered the call because I was thinking something might have happened to my daughter. Oh my lord, that's terrible. That's terrible news. Ten years ago, how how old was she? She had to have been at least, maybe a, what was she, maybe like, pre-teen maybe? Pre-teen? Or teenage? Right? Teenager or pre-teen? Man, that's, that's horrible. Gonna pass on the Kana to Tuna. And a lake, a, you know, the whole lake thing. Was it by accident or was it like a health condition? Was it not being able to, didn't know how to swim? You know? Mm. No life jackets, you know what I mean? Come on, be friendly now. All right, free time. All right, um, well, free time, honestly, like, no. No, no, no. Actually, yeah, let's go to shoot. Let's go shoot. I'm going to use the assault rifle, actually. Hello, Rose. How are you doing, Rose? Hope all is well, Rose. Hope you had a good day. If I'm remembering correctly, you might have just gotten off work. I hope you're doing okay. Maybe. Maybe, baby. <laughs> let's do the M44. Yeah. Oh, look at this big gun. No ACOG? What the hell? Where's my ACOG at? Come on, come on. Let it go, let it go. Let it go. Oh no, I'm going to be starting singing a Frozen song here in a sec. There we go. There we go. Good. That was alright. She was 13 years old. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Check your email with the orders of the day. Oh, yeah. Orders of the day, yeah? Break free again. Run as far as you can. Hello, airplane. <laughs> Just turned 13 a week before. Wow. That's crazy. That is heartbreaking. That's insane. That's awful. Oh, hopefully, 
Hopefully your daughter wasn't there. Maybe she was there during the incident, but I would like to think that hopefully she wasn't. Um, Steve to me. Uh, okay. Steve to me. This is both. Okay, I see. Probation to grant passes to prisoners who have sentence of more than five years. What? <laughs> uh, but anyways. Okay. So, again, we kind of talked about this earlier. The new update in this game. They made it so that you can change your prisoners. Squid Games is on is on par here. Genes and Redemptions. Kind of like a... The longest yard type thing. Basic upgrades or upgrade toilets. We can't do any upgrades on the toilets until level 10. Sinks can be upgraded though. Um, $500. We can definitely upgrade the sinks if we wanted to. Bed frames can't do anything with the bed frames other than change the skins if we wanted to. Like we make them gold or crazy pink. That would be kind of cool. Barbells. Again, something. Training bags. Something. Crates. We can change these to steel or gold eventually. That's kind of cool. You can make your prison, like, bougie, man. Kitchenware? Upgrade that to 500. Oh, increased guards respect. Wait a sec. It may not be a room with a hotel standard, but at least there are no cockroaches in it. Increases guards respect by 0 0.5. Wait a sec. Is this? What is this? 16 out of 13, 33. Does this mean we add more cells? Cell block B. Is that a new cell? B17? Oh! Did that just open it? 17. Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe that was... um. I did earlier say about updating the game. Well, I think we can just buy our own available cells. Oh, that's good. I think more prisoners, more cells means more money, potentially. If they work in the workshop, obviously, right? In other means. So we did get a hammer. We could buy a wrench. <laughs> let's upgrade the sinks. Yeah, let's upgrade the sinks. There we go. We'll upgrade the sinks. Uh, we don't have enough. Well, we actually do have money, kind of, to give them new skins, which we probably will do once we have the money. Kind of give them a little bit better there. Or get a little bit better there. Where's our ranking at in the prison so oh that's player no i don't want player i want ranking so it, our prisoner or prison ranks 17 the forehead correction facility 17 out of 20 so that's not too bad i guess we're, we're, we're going up slowly but surely but we're going up okay pick up the folder she was a good swimmer she swam out too too far and a boat came by and she got caught in the wake and the t and then tangled up in the underbrush wow that's all i want to say so it doesn't bring down the streams from but thank you for everyone that shares in our grief yeah no kidding wow Even like you, 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 you swim too far out. Like even if you're out of the boat, there's typically that orange flag you, you always wave if there's boats nearby, right? But even then it's like some people don't pay attention or some people can't see, you know, people, some people can't see others in the water when they're traveling high speeds on boats, you know? Good day, quiet for a change. Well, that's good to see there. That's at least a good quiet for a change. Hello, Stuart. How are you? 8.50 a.m. It's early morning. Jesus Christ, 8.50 a.m.? It's almost 9 o'clock in the morning there? My lord, you're almost 24 hours ahead of me. <laughs> good to see you. So who we got here? A complaint. I want to complain about the res uh, reprehensible behavior of the guard. On the night watch he marks he makes all prisoners angry by whistling loudly when it is supposed to be quiet at night and i can't even punch his face in in because he never be on the morning shift what do you want me to do about this <laughs> Rep like <what? laughs> okay complaint filed accepted i guess stop whistling at night that's what I picked from that complaint. 
My most esteemed screw of screws, please review the complaint that I am writing to you. So anyway, one of the screws I'm abusing his power over, me and the other prisoners, he is beating us for no good reason at all. You can't even sneeze. He calls us names and pokes us when we eat. He doesn't let us live. So please do something about him. Okay, we'll accept the complaint. Oh God, Ronald Trunk again. Uh, this is a pardon, I think. Check it. Does it check out? Can't compare. Um, I would like to inform you that my lawyer has received the active pardon from President Ronald Trunk, which fully cancels my sentence of imprisonment. The document is attached to this application. A partial pardon. To whom it may concern, let it be known that with this document signing in Ronald Trump, the President of the United States of America, pursuant to my powers under Article 2, Section 2, Clause 1 of the United States Constitution. Oh, so I guess we're in the United States. Dude, the crime is genocide. For 22 years, you want me to pardon? You are part. What? You're pardoning... You're pardoning somebody for genocide? What are you talking about? Reject. I'm, I'm not accepting a pardon for genocide. Are you insane? Request. Please supply the prison kitchen with more vegetables and, and tofu. Okay, I can accept that. Get accepted. Um, what is this? Dear Warden, we have not yet received an answer about Michael Davis and his imminent release after paying a fair sum of his freedom. We will no longer tolerate it, and you will soon feel the consequence of your tardiness in making decisions. We will take matters into our own hands. Yours faithfully representative of the Lombardi's family. Was this the mob? Shit. <laughs> Request. Put me in another block or at least another cell. Fair enough. There you go. We lost $700. Lost respect and gain respect. That was that was freaking spicy, dude. That was way spicy than I thought. Okay. Very well. And Thank you for sharing. There really are no words that can be said that will be strong enough. I know, right? Hey noobs. Want something? Oh yeah, I wanted to learn something. So, what do you want to know? I want to know this. What is this? Funny feeling. You could tell when something's wrong. All you have to do is glance at some places around a cell to know if something's hidden there. Oh, I like that. Can I get that? Very well. We have another skill point we can use. Um, last warning. You can use this command to whistle at prisoners. It gives you 30% chance they stop fighting. Oh, I like that. Instead of having to beat the hell out of them. I do like that. What about passive? What's passive? Player defense. Reduces the chance of detection, stamina, um, stamina, combat, defense, health boost, night sticks. I kind of like the active one. I like the whistle, so I don't have to like, maybe there's a chance I don't need to beat the hell out of them. I like that. There we go. So what, I just whistle? I think. Nope, put your fist away, you forehead. Okay. Um. Actually, I need to go back to the warden's office, I think. If I go back to the warden's office, can I buy, like, a taser now? Do I, am I at the right level to buy a taser? I would love to buy a taser. So I can stop smacking people with a stick. Well, what's worse, getting smacked with a baton? Or, um, <laughs> getting tased. Now, I have a friend who's in corrections, and he says that it's easy to break people's legs with a baton. So... Yeah, I don't know which one you would want to do. So, but we don't even have money for a taser anyways. Okay. That's good. Alright, so we don't need to do much more. We can go to the next free time here. We can just skip the time. We're not next to anything Im immediate, so I'm not worried about it. Alright, so minus $200, dude. Again? Go to the parcel searching room. I would rather be tased than smacked. <laughs> I, you know, a quick zap for like maybe like five seconds. It hurts like a son of a gun, you know, but at least it's not. What is that beeping sound? 
that on me? What the hell? What is that sound? That's unusual behavior. This is unusual behavior. Pick up. Oh, it must be in the box. One of the boxes might have a, a beeping sound. I see. Get that. Let me take that. I'll take that. I'm going to take it, not secure it. I'm going to secure this, though. Secure that. So there's like a bomb in one of these boxes, dude? Jesus Christ. Fantasy stories. Stop it. Stop with the beeping. It's scaring the hell out of me. <laughs> this one. This one. This one has it. Yep, this one has it. It's a briefcase. Oh, God, dude. No. A, B, turn off. Key, what are you talking about? Reset. Oh, shit. Um, puzzle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Uh. Yo. Do I only get one shot at it? A through B? Take the batteries out. No, put the batteries back in. I got to see the time. Oh, damn it, dude. I can't change anything else over here to reset. Turn off. Oh, no. Open it up. Open it up. Open it up. Open it up. Open it up, dude. Oh, my God. Why will you not open this item now? There we go. Why can't I change? Reset. Reset. Okay. That's how we do it. Reset. So over there. Over there. This will go over there. Oh, I did this wrong. Reset. Okay, this will go over there. This will go down. This will go over. This will go over. That will go up. Uh, this will go down. The key will go over. There we go. What the hell is this? A through B. Okay, so A. Oh, I see. I see. I see. A. Line there. Go down. Line up. Over. Over. Oh, God. Up. There. That goes, right? A. Yes. Turn off. Oh, my God. All right. That was crazy, dude. What the hell just happened? Somebody explain to me what just happened. We need to confiscate this let's just pack it up I guess check <laughs> check please <laughs> bomb sounds like a bomb hello simply nothing how are you hope it all is well unfortunately you pee yourself and you get smacked or get tased because you lose control so I'd rather be smacked I have other things that have happened that are worse than that for me. But I will get it not again to that. If you want to know. You can DM me in the Discord. And I'll explain my life to you if you want to know. If you ever need a friend. Well done. Well done indeed right. Well done. That was crazy dude. Did you see that? Thank you. Hello Norman. How are you Norman? Bam you joined the Discord. Awesome. That's awesome that you joined the Discord. Very good. I like when people join the Discord. Keeps in touch with everybody right. Keeps in touch. Oh, God. Get that out of there. Give me that. I'm going to take that. Not secure it, but take it. You guys were thinking I was going to blow this place up, weren't you? Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the box, though. Like, I checked it. <laughs> it's a freaking bomb. You would think I would uh, maybe report this to somebody right away. Jesus Christ. Uh, what the heck is that? No, secure that. No files. Reese's? Nope. Risotto? Nope. Pills? Nope. That must have been from the mafia guy or the the, the the mob guy, right? He's like, oh, something will be coming to you. 
It's a freaking bomb. Yeah, you should have maybe, like, I don't know, been smart about it, took the beeping out of it. You take the beeping out of the bomb, hey, maybe people won't know it's a bomb. And people won't know, and then it blows up after the timer's gone, right? I don't know. There we go. Great. The oh, that little Hershey's. How cool. There we go. Why not finishes the prisoners off at one swoop? You work well under pressure? I uh, maybe. <laughs> I might portray it as that way, but dude, I was panicking there for a sec. I had to figure it out. I had two minutes to figure something out, man. That was crazy. Oh, is that the is that the file? I'm, I'm thinking like a folder file, not like an actual file file. Is that what it is? Oh, okay. I'm thinking like folder file. I'm not thinking of like an actual file or. You got oh, that's a good shout. Good shout there, seesaw. Good shout. Here we go. We leveled up. Got two hundred and fifty-eight dollars for the prison and forty-five dollars for us. Uh, guards' respect went up tremendously because we disarmed a bomb. It should have. We disarmed a bomb, dude. Our freaking <laughs> our respect should go skyrocketing right now. That that would be like in the news. What are you talking about? Get item. Talk to Trevor. Okay. What the heck is this? Visitation status? Oh, God. What happens now? Uh, 12. Free. Conjural visit. Okay. What is going on here? Manage the visit time. Inmates spend on visitation activities. Prevent any rules from being broken. Talk to Trevor. What now? Time is up. Move it. Ah, fine. I thought you wouldn't notice. Okay. I still need to talk to you. You're a real mailman, aren't you? It's too its too late now. Oh, the yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He needed it in a day. There won't be more time. Or next. Get out of my sight. You know what? You effing teased me the wrong way. Defend yourself. All right. You know what? Look. Yeah! This is what I have to say to you. You don't want it. I promise you, you never want this. Visitation? They just saw that. They saw what just happened. Are you guys all visiting the same girl? Man, is she getting around over here? What the heck? She wearing, what the heck is she wearing? Is she wearing a dress or a skirt? I don't even know. Hello, how are you? Is there anybody out here? Oh, God, no. Okay. Nothing. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Hey, you sit down. Sit down. Okay, you need to go. If you're going to be angry, I'm going to take you out. I'm going to take you out. Oh, a conjugal... A conjugal visit isn't that like uh int like <laughs> isn't that yep it's uh it's uh it's intercourse all right well um i i don't think this is real i don't think they do this in real life i i, I 100 don't think they do unless you live in like sweden or something because you know they're doing some crazy stuff over there with the whole uh prison system they're doing some like uh what is it um I would say, like, evolutionary stuff over there. They're changing the game. My oh, man, will you sit the hell down? What are you doing? I just lost my temper. I can see it. Cool down. Fine, I'm better now. Okay. Okay. Time's up, dude. Can I help you with something? Time's up. Yeah, get going. You. Time's up. Move out. Get out. No prob, Captain. <laughs> Time's up already for you? What do you want? Time's up. Ah, fine. I thought you wouldn't have noticed. Get out of here. What the hell is the door? The door's like slamming and... Can I go out there with you? Okay, excuse me. Pardon me. Yo, there's a conjugal visit going on. Can I walk in? Hello? Hey, hey. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> this is... Uh, this is Mrs. Hello? This is, this is Mrs. Gordon? All right. This is disgusting. Get out. You friggin' animal. You you filthy animals. I'm coming with you. <laughs> I want to get out of here. Hey, don't shut the door on me. Okay, time's up. Get out of here. Let's go. Move out. Whatever works to keep the people safe when they come out. <laughs> I know, right? Seriously. Whatever. Keep everyone sane a little bit, right? Oh, God. How awkward that be, you know? 
Wouldn't that be awkward? It's kind of like having an appointment for intercourse. You ever had like an appointment for intercourse? I mean, that's called prostitution to some to some extent. But I mean, like, let's just say, let's pretend like this was a legal act, right? Let's pretend like this was a legal act. And it's like, oh, yeah, you know, next week I got a conjugal visit. All right, let me just make the bed for you here. All right, bed's fine. Let me just make sure the Febreze is on the table and uh, let me just walk out. You got, you, you know, you got 30 minutes, have fun, you know, and then you come back in and they're like sitting there on the bed awkwardly. It's like, all right, come on, let's go. Your appointment's over. <laughs> it's just freaking weird, dude. It's so weird. <laughs> it's all weird. Oh, come on. Bought it here. I have an appointment for intercourse. Uh, this game is full of thick. <laughs> can you search the guy who had vi who the guy? Can you search the guy who had visit? Uh, are you meaning like through the um, like the uh, the conjugal visit? That's a good question. I don't know. What would be worse is having to book it and then not being able to get him to work in time. <laughs> <Hmm>. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any pills to dispense. Sorry. You, you got to go on your own free will. This is all that I can give you. <laughs> I mean, you got a TV. I don't I mean magazines, you know? Is that what they do? I you go to like a uh, a sperm bank. <laughs> they hand out mag I don't know if they hand out mag. I see like TV shows, they always like reference, oh, magazines, magazines, magazines. I would like to think now in like 2021, possibly going into 2022, that they would have switched from magazines to possibly videos. Mm. I don't know, dude. That's a little bit evolutionary in its own self. <laughs> Hello, Bright. How are you? Hope all is well. Hope you're doing well, Bright. Good to see you again, Bright. Why common way to smuggle, uh, to snuggle and smuggle? Convenient, convenient sink, I know, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God, it's so good. It's funny. That was a funny, I like that. That was a good room. That was a funny room to be in. I guess the next gun to clean is that bad boy, but I'm not really into that right now. Let's let's do a different stand. Let's go stand two. We haven't done stand two before. Let's go stand two with the SMG. Send it. Two for the head. Concentration. Oh, damn it. Reloading. So anytime the correction officers do their training like this, do their shooting training here locally, uh, the sheriff's department, they have their own like shooting range. They go off site. They don't stay in the facility, you know. <laughs> they don't do this in the facility. There we go. Stand two must be like longer. Yeah, this is longer. There we go. I guess I did good. $20? Okay, cool. $20 for the prison for shooting the gun. Even though you would think that would cost me money because I just used up all the ammunition, but that's all right. Let's go to the prisoners from the cell block. Oh, go get the prisoners. Oh, we're going to the workshop. I hate going to the workshop. This is the one spot I hate the most. Let me in. Hello. All right. So today we are taking a gang. Um, it's going to be one gang and then probably one odd man out of the gang but the gang that we're going to be taking today is gang f and chat so let's make sure we have f and chat gang up and going that's the bulldogs we do not want the bulldog gang going that is the killers well we could take the killers we haven't taken the killers i don't think that guy is not part of a gang all right trevor pretzel this guy is part of the killers as well that's the f and chat all right so here we go F and chat. There's one. We need six people. So we have one F and chat. 
Aggressive killers. How about you? Killers? We should have took the killers. God damn it. There's so many of them. Thank you, Jim. You're no, you're not part of any gang and you're harmless. F in chat. There we go. We'll bring him. F in chat. We'll bring him. Gonna pass. Bulldogs? Nope. We're not bringing the bulldogs. Another F in chat. One more guy. One more guy. There we go. Cool. All right. We got our guys here. Now, there's our other cell that we just opened up, if you see it up there. Um, yeah, so we could at least open all these cells up eventually when we want to, if we when we have the money, right? So now, uh, how do we do this? We go Q? No, we go Tab? Yeah, Tab, follow me. Let's go, boys! I'm gonna head off to the night. I got a, got a date tomorrow morning, and I wanted to binge watch... Ben rewatch recipe for disaster playlist. All right, Seesaw, it was good to see you. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us tonight, today. Thank you so much. You have yourself a good night and have a great date as well. All the best wishes and all that for you. Thank you so much, Seesaw. All right, everyone in here. Get the hell in here. Bring it in. Bring it in. Let's go. One at a time. One at a time. Let's roll. Now, I don't remember there being six. I think six is more. Yeah, they're... they're I think it's... Be oh, it's because we upgraded. That's why. Okay, I see. So we can bring more prisoners when we upgrade. I see, I see, I see. So it really doesn't matter who we give these tools to. Because they, they seem to kick each other's ass anyways. And they seem to kill each other or hurt each other. And it hurt me, but, you know, F it. I should have known. I should have known the file was supposed to go to that guy. But, you know, that was my fault. My wife used to polish her nails with a file like this. Did I tell you about my wife? You did not tell me about your wife. All right. This guy is like a skinny, young, like, late 1980s Drew Carey. It's like Drew Carey from, um, Whose Line Is It Anyways? I love watching that show. I, you know, I know there's like a new Whose Line Is It Anyways show, but I like the old one. I like the old one from like the 2000 era, right? I watch that on HBO Max sometimes. Whose Line Is It Anyway? Where the points don't matter and I'm a funny guy behind the desk. Aha. Where Wayne Brady carries the entire show most of the time. Okay, let these guys do their thing. Ah, I see workstation area. Okay, so these are the other workstation areas that. Okay, I see. I see. So the other stuff would go. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh! Someone just did something. This guy just fell over dead. Help him, Steven. All right, there's one down. <laughs> He just fell over, dude. I don't know. He does too. Me too. Everybody keep up. Keep up. Do your work. Do your work. How's it in here? It's going well. I don't know where my other hammer station is. I guess this is my other hammer station. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Because there's two hammer stations here. Or maybe this is... Yo! Fire! Fire! Don't worry. I got it, guys. You, you just stand there and look fine. All right. Cool. I got it. Don't worry. Oh, my God. Get out of here, dude. There's boxes on fire. Put it out, put it out, put it out. There we go. <laughs> it's so silly. So silly. Look how big my head is. Oh my god. Look how big my head is. I have the biggest freaking head of all time. My god. Oh, another fire. Fire, fire. I got it. I got it. So, like, have you ever played that game, that firefighter simulator game? That's a pretty good game. Pretty good game. All right. Very good. Very good. Put it down. Put it down. There you go. Do I still have a big head? I still... I. Well, no, not as big anymore, but it was ginormous in here. Yeah. Maybe that's, like, a shadow thing. From the lights <laughs> uh, you know you like you make those puppet things with the shadows uh, I, I I sometimes do that I know 
I know. I'll be like, rah, 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 and like eat somebody's head in the living room or something. All right, make sure everyone's working. Hey, you working? You work? Good. You work too? You working too? Good. Everybody's work. You get back to work. Why are you slacking off? I cut my finger. All right. <laughs> I'll give you some respect or give me some respect for that. Put respect on my name. Like the extra $52 doesn't seem like a lot now thinking about it. So maybe we like say, you know what? Rally up. Let's call it a day, guys. $52 isn't going to change anything. It isn't going to change anything. Bring it in. I know I have my fist out. Sorry. 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 There we go. Imagine that forehead. Dude, that's like, like airplane takeoff mode. That's like, I'm going to freaking have your forehead as a runway. That thing was huge. I can see you stand with the shadows for hours. <laughs> Just give me all the tools, you cowards. There we go. There we go. Put all the tools away. There we go. All right, boys. Time to head back. Whoops. Oh, we have to frisk him. Sorry. I haven't frisked anyone all day today. Uh, we'll leave that. We'll leave that. I seen someone uh, when they were doing the checking of the boxes for contraband. They left everything go they let everything go so they could get respect oh that's a good that's a, that's a good shout too that's true that's kind of like what i was thinking i was like when i was searching the boxes uh believe that um um, take that. when i was searching the boxes i was thinking any drugs or anything like that i'll just probably leave you know get some respect that way give the item back I just gave him back something. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Okay, stop it. Don't talk to each other. Let's go. Everybody with me. Open up. Let's go. Wait for unusual business. The white business powder game. I don't even know. Come on, guys. Slow asses. Let's go. All right, so then we'll probably be going into roll call right after this, right? I'm assuming. Here we go. Let's see. They're all in here. Right? A whole life with idiots. Okay, workshop, free time. Okay, it's free time. It's not even not even roll call. I bet you it's roll call after this now, though. I feel like we're only working with this cell block. All the time. Let's see. Our guard, our prison guard respect is high. Very, very high. All right, so I guess we we're on cleaning duty. I don't mind the cleaning duty. It's not too crazy. It's not like too, um, it's not too bad. Like in some games, it can be really obnoxious. This game is not too bad. It's not too bad. You love this game? That's good to hear, Bright. It's a pretty good game, yeah? It's pretty fun. It's absolutely pretty fun. Still want to see more of it. Want to see where like some of the storyline goes, right? So far, they're keeping me on my toes, I will say. There's a lot of things that keep catching me off guard, like the conjugal visit. Like, that was crazy. That caught me off guard, but that was fun. Who's in here? Hey. <laughs> yeah, the visit, that was fun. Um, you know, there's a lot There's a lot of things going on here that, that keep me on my toes, for sure. The riot, the riot was crazy. I will have to say, the riot was crazy. Um, it was very loud, very loud. The riot was, but it was all good. Nope, wrong way. Oh, God. Pick up the mop. There we go. Yeah, I want more. <laughs> and I, and you know, I am pleasantly happy that the, uh, that the devs did come out and they did do a hot fix, you know, a couple days after release. And, you know, they even added content, you know, them wanting to add the different skins for the prisoners and stuff like that. That that was pretty cool. I did enjoy that. So that was nice to see. 
All right, let's brief it up here. I understand that you already done everything. I did, I did do everything. Yes, it's over for today. There we go. Awesome, very, very good. Cool. So we have $250, $814 for the prison, five plus respect on the guards visit or respect, and then prisoner respect down by 1%. Very good, all right. But I think that's going to do it in today's stream. Yes, yes, yes. It's been a pleasure to be with you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. It was a fun one. Prison Simulator. If you guys want to see more Prison Simulator, let me know in the comment section below of this stream when it's posted. And I'll be glad to bring you back some more Prison Simulator. Uh, we streamed for about two and a half hours today. I still got to go make some videos. I got to go record some videos. I got to record some Moon Glow Bay, some Recipe for Disaster some let's build a zoo and bringing back the good life so good stuff right good stuff all the cheers thank you everybody that all came out today thank you leslie for the super chat today really do appreciate that thank you so much leslie really really do appreciate that a lot um yeah if you want to become a member of the channel we added three new members three new members in the last stream fm fam rob and zombie slayer we added three more members to the growing community and growing family if you want to become just hit the big join button hit the big join button on your desktop or click the link down in the description below you can become a member and help create this channel create this channel ever so slightly all together right make it sustainable for the future so that i can bring you content every single day see a queen see a bright see a leslie see a norman see a john see a seesaw see a pug everybody and everybody watching this not live and watching this in the um <laughs> in the uh oh god uh the uh the replay yes thank you guys so much I, i'm gonna go open this that's gonna be fun we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Anyways, thank you guys so much. And I will see you. Love your headband. Oh, it's it's I love it too, dude. I love it too. <laughs> Bye, mana. Bye, mana forever. Mana forever. And I will see you guys very, very shortly. Do take care and check back on the um, channel for when our next stream will be. So yeah, just always stay in touch there and we will we will do all that. So yeah. Um see ya. <laughs>